um i think we i think we are live right now okay so um hello everyone good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you are uh, today we have a, uh, a very interesting topic uh, to discuss which is efficient representations of digital images on quantum computers uh, the speaker today is a very talented young lady in Egypt uh, her name is uh, Nurhan Nasser uh, Nurhan Nasser I'm sorry and uh, she is a candidate uh, research, research master's uh, student at Alexandria University she's also working as a demonstrator uh, at faculty of science and uh, she will uh, discuss today uh, this very interesting topic and she will also introduce um, um, a new a new way of uh, encoding the images uh, inside a quantum computer using uh, lower uh, resources and with a better time complexity. Uh, she is also um, a research member at Q Egypt. And uh, without further ado, uh, I present you uh, Nurhan. So welcome, Nurhan. I think you can start uh, your talk. Uh, thank you, Karim. Hello, everyone. Uh, is the presentation is clear? Yes, Nurhan, very good. OK, so uh, today, as Karim said, I'm going to talk about efficient representations of digital images on quantum computers. Uh, so on classical computers, uh, the image is um, encoded. Uh, uh, the uh, images are represented uh, by matrices. Each value of the matrix represents the value of the pixel. So, how images are represented on quantum computers? Uh, there are two types of image representation have been proposed, amplitude representation and basis state representation. Uh, in the amplitude representation, the value of the pixel is represented uh, in the amplitude of a qubit, such as in uh, the FRQI model. Uh, this model was proposed in 2011. Uh, in this uh, model, the gray value of the pixel is stored in the amplitude of a single qubit using quantum rotation gates. Uh, this qubit is entangled with a qubit sequence to store the position of each pixel. Uh, in the basis state representation, the value of the pixels is stored in uh, the basis state of a qubit sequence, such as in the NEQR model. This model was proposed in 2013. Sorry, 2013. Uh, this model uses the basis state of a qubit sequence, consists of eight qubits, to store the gray value of each pixel. Uh, this qubit sequence is entangled with another qubit sequence to store the uh, position of each pixel. OK, so the aim of this research is to enhance the representation of digital images on quantum computers. We improved the existing representations to achieve speed up in the preparation process. Uh, in this research, we introduced two enhanced quantum image representation. The first proposed representation is called EFRQI. Uh, this representation is inspired by the FRQI model. In this representation, we're using 2n plus 1 qubits to store 2 to the power n by 2 to the power n gray images. It, in this representation, we're using the partial negation operator to store the gray value of the pixel in the, in the amplitude of a single qubit. Uh, this qubit is entangled with a qubit sequence consists of 2n qubits to store the position of each pixel. Uh, the image is stored in a superposition where A and B uh, are the amplitudes of the state which holds the value of the pixels, and Y, X is the uh, coordinates of the pixel. Uh, okay, before we see the preparation process, uh, let's talk first about the Rx operator or the partial negation operator. Uh, the partial negation operator, I called it in this research Rx. It is the case root of the X gate, and uh, the partial negation operator negates the state partially. So if we apply the Rx operator on state 0, then it will generate 1 plus t over 2 for 0 plus 1 minus t over 2 for 1. And if we apply the operator on state 1, it will generate 1 minus t over 2 for 1 plus 1 plus t over 2 for 0. 
where t equals the case root of minus 1. And if we apply the Rx uh, operator for multiple times, uh, let's say for d times on the, sa on, on the same qubit, then it will generate for state 0, 1 plus t to the power d over 2 for 0, plus 1 minus t to the power d over 2 for 1. And for state 1, 1 minus t to the power d over 2 for state 1 plus 1 plus t to the power d over 2 for 0. Uh, and if the number of the applied Rx gate is equal to k, which means d is equal to k, then Rx to the power d is equal to x. So basically, if the d equal k, the uh, operator will be uh, the C not, uh, the not gate. Okay, so uh, as I said that the operator, the Rx operator is the case root of x. And in our representation, uh, the gray range is from 0 to 255. Then the k root will equal 255 in the uh, EFRQI representation. Uh, the Rx operator is applied according to the gray value of the pixel. For example, uh, if the gray value of the pixel is 200, then 200 Rx operators are applied on the qubit, which is equivalent to a single operator x to the power 255, 200 over 255. And if the gray value is 255, which is white pixel, uh, then uh, 255 Rx operators will be applied, which is equivalent to x to the power 255 over 255. That is equivalent to the x gate. So uh, in this representation, we're using a single gate or one operator on each pixel to store the value of the pixel. Uh, okay, so, so this is a detailed example to see the preparation process for the EFRQI representation. For this image, we have this image is a two by two image with four pixels. So for this image, we're needing three qubits, two qubits to store the position of each pixel and one qubit to store uh, the value of the pixel. Okay, so we're starting a prepare a quantum register with three qubits, all initialized to zero. First, we're going to store the position of each pixel using the Hadmard gate. So we're applying the Hadmard gate on the first uh, two qubits and nothing on the third qubit. Okay, this will generate an empty or a black image stored in a superposition. We only stored the uh, position of each pixel. Okay, so to complete the preparation, we need to store the value of each pixel. So we're going to apply the Rx operator as mentioned. So for the first pixel, it's black pixel, so the value is zero. So at position zero, zero, we're going to apply x to the power 0 over, over 255. For the second pixel, the gray value is 70, so we're going to apply x to the power 70 over 255 at position 0, 1. The third pixel is uh, the gray value it, uh, is 120, so we're going to apply uh, x to the power 120 over 255 at position 1, 0. And the last pixel, it's white, so the gray value is 255. So we're going to apply 200x to the power 255 over 255 at position 1, 1. Okay, this will result in the following state. For the first pixel, uh, it's considered an I identity gate. Nothing will be applied on the first pixel. It remains zero. For the second and the third pixel, the value of the, uh, of the gray pixel will uh, be stored in the amplitude of the qubit. For the last pixel, it's a, an X gate. Uh, so we're going to flip this zero to one. So in this representation for black pixels, nothing will be changed. Not, no operator will be applied. For the white pixels, only we're going to apply the X gate. Uh, for the other gray ranges, we're going to apply the Rx operator according to the gray value. Okay, this, is, uh, this figure is uh, a probability distribution for the previous example with the EFRQI representation. Uh, to explain this distribution in a simple way, uh, we can split this distribution into two halves. The first half represents uh, how much the pixel is close to black 
and the second half is how much the pixel is close to white. So for the first pixel at uh, 0, 0, it was a black pixel. So this is its distribution at the black side and nothing at the white side. For the second and the third pixel, these are the distribution at the black side and these are the distribution at the white side. For the last pixel, it was a white pixel. So nothing at the black side and it was, and this is its distribution at the white side. So uh, basically it's, um, it's like the more you apply the Rx operator, the more the pixel get close to white. Uh, this proposed representation is also applicable to store RGB images. Uh, we only need to add two more qubits, so we're going to use 2n plus 3 qubits, one qubit for the red channel, one qubit for the green channel, and one qubit for the blue channel with the same preparation process. Okay, so the second uh, representation, the second proposed representation, it's called ENEQR. Uh, it's uh, inspired by the NEQR model. In this representation, we're using 2n plus 9 qubits to store 2 to the power n by 2 to the power n gray images. Uh, we're using 8 C0 gate to store the gray value of the pixel in the basal state of a qubit sequence consists of 8 qubits. Uh, this qubit sequence is entangled with another qubit sequence consists of 2n qubits to store the position of the pixel. In this representation, we're using an auxiliary qubit to load the position of the pixel to be changed using one to NC node gate. Then the auxiliary should be resetted to be used for the next pixel. And of course, the image is stored in a superposition. Uh, BYX is the gray value encoded in binary sequence, consists of eight bits since the range of the gray is from zero to 255. Okay, so let's see the preparation for this representation. For this image, it's two by two image. So we're going to uh, use 11 qubit, uh, eight qubit for, uh, to store the value of the pixel, two qubit to store the position, and one auxiliary qubit. So we're going to prepare a register with 11 qubits all initialized to zero. Uh, first, we're going to store the position each pixel using the Hadmert gate. So we're going to apply the Hadmert on two qubits and the other nine qubits remain unchanged. So again, this will result a black image stored in a superposition. We only stored the uh, position of each pixel. Okay. Now we need to store the uh, value of the pixels using the C0 gate. So the C0 gate is applied on the qubits according to the binary value of the gray uh, pixel. The first pixel is black, so uh, with value zero, so it remains unchanged. For the second pixel, first, okay, so this is the first pixel, nothing will be changed. For the second pixel, the gray value is 70. So first we're going to uh, load the position to the auxiliary qubit using the Toffoli gate. Okay, and then we're going to apply the C0 according to the uh, binary sequence of the gray value. So uh, 17 is equal uh, in binary is equal to 01000110. So we're going to apply the C0 gate on the second, uh, on the uh, second, the sixth, and the seventh qubit. We're going only to apply the C0 on the second, sixth, and the seventh qubits. Okay, so this is the second pixel. We stored the value of the second pixel by applying the C0 on certain qubits according to the binary sequence of the gray value. Then the auxiliary qubit will be resetted to be used for the next value, uh, the next pixel. Okay. Then the rest of the pixels will uh, change uh, at the, uh, with the same way. So for the the third pixel, the gray value is 120. Uh, so we're going to apply the C0 on the second, third, fourth, and the fifth qubits. For the last pixel, it's white with a value 255. So we're going to apply the C0 on all qubits. 
Okay, so in this representation, if the pixel is black, nothing will be applied. If the pixel is white, all the qubit, uh, the C0 will be applied on all qubits. Okay, and the other gray ranges will be, uh, the C0 will be applied according to the value of the gray. Okay, so this is the quantum circuit of our representation compared with the quantum circuit of the NEQR representation. In the NEQR model, he used eight C0, uh, eight two N C0 gate for each pixel, but in our representation, we're using only one two N C0 gate and eight C0 gate for each pixel, which improves the time complexity and the quantum cost. Okay, this representation is also applicable to store RGB images using 2n plus 24 uh, qubits. Uh, so we need, uh, we're using 8 qubits for the red channel, another 8 qubit for green channel, for the green channel, and another 8 qubit for the blue channel. Okay, so this is the experimental results. Uh, table 1 shows a comparison between the time complexity of the proposed representation and the other models. The time complexity of the EFRQI for gray image and the EFRQCI for color image is linear in the size, are linear in the size of the image and can achieve quadratic speed up in the preparation process when compared with the other model. Uh, the comparison also shows an improvement in the time complexity of the ENEQR for uh, gray images and the ENCQI for color images when comparing with the other models, which leads to image preparation speed up. Uh, table 2 shows a comparison for the quantum cost between the proposed representations and the other models. The comparison is made using real images from the standard database. It shows that the quantum cost of the proposed representation is decreased to be less than half when compared with the other models. Okay, so conclusion. In this research, we introduced two representations for storing digital images. The first representation is called EFRQI, and it is inspired by the FRQI and it's an amplitude representation. The second representation, it's called ENEQR, uh, and, and it is inspired by the NEQR model. Uh, it's a basis state representation. These two representations are applicable to store RGB images and gray images. Okay, that's it. Thank you for listening. Um, thanks a lot. Uh... Let me check the chat if there is anyone who would like to, or she would like to um, ask you. Okay. Are there any questions? Um, you can write in the chat or you can raise your hand. Okay. Um, I myself have. I myself have a question. Okay. Um, Regarding uh, the storing part, you, you say that uh, C mm. nodes can store uh, the image. Okay, do you mean by store the representation itself or just you can keep the state for like a longer time, something like this? No, what no, for the representation. I mean the representation. How can I represent the, uh, the gray value of the pixel using the C node gate? Okay, um, actually. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, so sorry for interruption. Uh, uh, can you show the last uh, slide? Uh, I think the, someone wants to know how the, last to one? the paper, how to download the paper. Oh, so okay. if you make this DOI visible, okay. or maybe you can write down the DOI uh, on the chat. So okay, can, no uh, I can I can put the, the, the link to the paper on the chat. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, Karim, can you uh, stop this uh, sharing? I asked, okay.
Okay, um, will you post the link? Yes, sure, uh, just a second. Okay. I, uh, I have a problem with my internet. Okay, I, I, I will share the, the link, Nurhan, so you can go on in the discussion. Okay. And I will, Thank you, uh, I will post the link. Okay. Okay. Um, a second question. Um, okay. have you can you share the screen it? again? So uh, if oh, someone okay. has any question. Yes. Okay. So um, have you have you used Cascade? No, actually I didn't. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so, so um, uh, Nurhan, uh, yes. can you, uh, uh, I have a question. Yes. Um, um, is this representation has any benefits uh, in the image processing? It is not, uh, because uh, image, uh, uh, digital image is not, um, the aim is not to store the image, but uh, also to process uh, the image, to apply some image yes, processing. Yes, of course, yes, we can so, after storing what, the... What are the benefits of this representation or over other representation besides storing? Uh, yes, well, we can apply uh, some image processing on this representations, uh, uh, such as segmentation and uh, uh, any other image processing we uh, can be applied on this uh, these representations. Hello. Um, did you did you answer his question? Hello. Can you hear okay, me? The link, the link of the paper is on the chat now. So, uh, okay, you already posted, Karim. Okay, very good. So I I, I have no further questions. So. Hello. Can you hear me? I I, I think I have a problem with my connection. Can. No, I can hear no. you, uh, Norhan, but um, I, I have no more questions. Thank you. OK, um, Dr. Ronald Tosser is asking you about the simulator. What what type of simulator did you use? Uh, I use Javantum for this representation. Javantum. Yes. OK. OK. So I believe no further questions. Um, Thank you. Thank you so much for the day. It was uh, interesting. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, I will stop the sharing for now. Just a second. Bye-bye, everyone.